welcome, this is Ruth and today I'm back with another one of Tonic's showcase die sets and this one is called the Decadent Desk Decor Die Set. <laughs> That's a lot of alliteration but it does make a beautiful a desk tidy kind of thing and there are different configurations that you can use it in but there are 31 dies and uh, you can use them as I said to in different configurations you can have a little drawer you can have little compartments and you can use these uh, sort of stackable whatever way you like and you can see also here that we've got some little sentiments so these say uh, bits and bobs a place for and then we've got glue notes scissors um, just a just a note as well and pens that's that one <laughs> so you can see already that this would make a beautiful panel on a card so would this that would make a beautiful little pocket on a memory book uh, so would this actually but uh, do you have a little look at them and see you could use this cutting it through the corner of a card you could make a pocket on your card just by cutting out this shape and you can uh, glue it down here along these th two sides here and pop something in there anyway I might get around to doing that I'm not too sure but I have been asked to make my samples today in craft card so it's a little bit unusual for me I don't normally use that but I think I'm going to have fun with it and maybe add some green and some white and uh, give it a little bit of a pop anyway and maybe even a little bit of glitter card but uh, I just want to say first because I know I will get asked this at the end the largest die in this is 8.1 inches by 4.8 inches so that is 207 millimeters by 121 millimeters and I hope that helps if you're just wanting to gauge if this will go through as a smaller uh, die cutting machine if you don't have an A4 one so I do hope that helps I've actually got a little piece of card taped up in front of me to my tripod which says size and an exclamation mark to remind me to measure at the end of this I quite often forget to measure because I get a bit bogged down these are so enjoyable to make that I forget to measure them at the end but anyway now that I've told you the size of the die hopefully that will help anyway so as always don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you enjoy it at the end don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment that really really helps my channel along and also I will have my affiliate links for all of this down below in the description of the video so I get a little commission for, from that but it doesn't cost you anything extra at all now I'm going to go and do some die cutting and I'll be right back well the last bit of the video was yesterday and I got a bit of die cutting done and then I had to move on to something else so I'm back again now and I've sort of changed my plan just a little on the colourway because I'm going to do some of it white, some of it um, craft card and then I have brought in some of the sea salt green and I've decided to keep a little bit of glitter which you can see there I've cut out um, and I'm going to keep that for a card to match this or something else like that as well but I wanted to show you anyway you start off with the cutting list that's on the instructions that you'll get and it tells you basically to cut out four of this shape so this is the largest of these dies and then you need to cut out some decorative panels for that now just at the moment I'm not sure what way I'm going to decorate this I know what I'm going to do with some of it so I'm actually going to leave those bits to the end but if you know how you would like yours to look at the end you could maybe decorate the panels now and put them together in that way as well now you're definitely going to have to cut six of these I have cut two here in white and I have cut some in craft card as well and I may um, come back and add bits and pieces into that but for now I've got two of these which I'm going to glue together you don't need to glue any of the others together and I've got two of these which I'm going to glue together as well and two of these panels which are made with this little die here so because this is a little desk tidy it needs to be very sturdy and that's why you're cutting out doubles of everything so once you've uh, sort of identified and marked where the little um, glue tabs are uh, well of course they're, they're already marked but what I mean is you don't want to put glue on those so I've just folded them back and then you can glue these back to back uh, and that way the glue tabs will uh, be sort of foldable back this way but the inside then will be glued together and that'll be really really sturdy this is 300 GSM smooth card that I'm using here craft perfect as all tonics card is and then I've used this one this this die actually there's the die itself and I've cut that out twice 
and we're going to glue those back to back and again the glue pieces out here. Now for this edge panels as well I have taken the largest die in the set so that is this one as I showed you and I've cut that out in craft card then I've taken the two inside dies so I've cut this one first of all in plain white and this is exactly the same here I'm going to glue that on top of there and then I've also taken that one with this panel and I've cut that out together and I've made this so there's an awful lot of detail in this one and if you want to make life easy for yourself just go ahead and cut the outside first and then take, remove that die and put this one facing down and run it through your die cutting machine. There's so much detail um, you'd have to run it through several times I think just to get the two cut together. So just remove one and carry on with the other and it all will be quick. And then I'm going to glue this one on top of this one then glue that onto there and that will be the two sides for my little tidy. And I'm going to go ahead and you'll see just in a moment or two to glue two of these panels back to back and make sure I don't get any glue on the glue tabs and do the same with these and these. Hopefully you can see the little notches here. It's a little mark that's made by the die here and here and then there's another one here and here. So first of all we're going to take this die cut that has the centre part in it here. It's a sort of narrower curve and I'll fold these back here, the little glue tabs, and put glue down both of them and then you can centralise that right down from the top notch here right down to the bottom one. And then you can take this little die cut here, it's the, actually it's the two together again, and do exactly the same thing. Just turn this over and put this on here by putting the glue right down both of those glue tabs that you have folded back. go ahead with this die and cut that out four times and in the same way you'll back two of those onto each other just like this. Now obviously you could do that in white and I'm not really sure why I did it in craft but I've done it anyway and I wanted this a kind of sort of mix and match kind of thing so some craft and some white and some green and I just decided to do my little shelves in the craft card. There you are and just make sure those are really really well glued together before you uh, go ahead and attach them here. I already had some of these cut out in craft card but I, I changed my mind and I thought that the whole uh, base structure of it would need to be in white. So I've cut these again so I've now got four and I have trimmed off the long glue tab on three of them and on the fourth one then I'm just going to set two of them aside for the time being and on here I'm just going to glue that glue tab right onto there so you'll be able to see that um, the glue tab is cut off this one and it's going this one's going to get glued together right here this then will form the base and the back so what i need to do now is put glue along these pieces here and here and line the little pointed part so that's the this part and this part with here and here and then line that straight up so that that point comes to there and the little marks are uh, on that already. So it's going to be a little bit difficult to show you how I'm doing it. But you can see the marks there. Here, here, here and here. And I'm going to line all of that up with that. And then when I get that together I'm going to go ahead then and put these pieces on to reinforce the back and front. But hopefully I'll be able to show you that better. it all glued together there except for the last two large panels and in the instructions it tells you to cut off the long glue tab here 
but I've actually gone ahead and cut the two side ones off as well. So I've just got the rectangle and now all I need to do is glue this on the base here and the other one on here and there and there and that will reinforce all of this and then I'll be able to add the side panels on to keep everything nice and sturdy. I can go back to these two panels that I made at the start. They're really, really beautiful and I love that sea salt green with that. And I am going to just turn this up, put glue along these tabs here, all of those ones, and just make sure that this is lined up here and here. see here that when I've got all of these pieces on I actually cut out extras of uh, these <laughs> and I just held the piece up here and marked it here and here and cut it directly across and then put it in here. Now I didn't want to have that the whole way down there because if I had backed that on in the first place then the tabs would still have been visible here and here. So that's all I've done there is put the, the die cut over the top marked it and cut straight down and straight across straight down here and straight across from here and then i've done exactly the same thing on the other side just bearing in mind to keep the right side of the craft paper uh, showing and then i've cut um a little panel of the gorgeous uh, ombre uh, glitter card and i've put it in there and i've done exactly the same thing on here and here with the white card but not using the big die cut this time I used this one and I cut it to 8.3 centimeters this way and then just trimmed it uh, to fit on here and here and that covered all those glue tabs and it makes it really really sturdy and then I've just cut two little pieces of card as well and popped them down inside there and that covered those glue tabs and it doesn't really matter so much at the bottom but uh, I think I I actually went back on part of the video, I've mentioned it there uh, during the video, that whenever I was cutting these and putting these, assembling these to put the drawers in, I actually went with the little notches that are just slightly further up, but uh, I decided to come back and just, before the glue set actually, and just measure where these are going to be because that was slightly too high and I wanted to put the bottom of the glue tab right down there. So. You can see if you pop the drawer in first, I've made a little drawer up. I'm going to show you how to do that now, but that sort of made sense to where I was going to put this little piece here. I didn't want it further up and having a great big gap between that and the drawer. So instead of having the little points at the notch, I've actually put the bottom of the tab at the notch. There we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and make another little drawer. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I actually love that green with this so I might even come back and put a little bit of extra detail on here or something but it's looking well so far. So I've got one drawer made and I'm going to show you how to make the other one. Just exactly the same way we need two of these, two of these and one of these for each drawer and then you can go ahead and decorate it the way I've done here by using this one and this one together and I've done that in the sea salt green and glued it onto the front. So these are my die cuts. The front and the back of the drawer are the same and this is the one I've decorated and these are the two sides. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on the inside of the tab here, just down here. And I'm going to do the same with all of these little pieces here and attach them onto this. I can go ahead and put glue on these little tabs and join the little drawers up. I've 
in this dye and cut it out in sea salt green and then this one and this one together in white and I've backed them onto each other and I've actually just added a little bit of glue on there and now I'm going to glue this in here um, just in the same way as I have done over here. Now I've also taken the beautiful pattern die here along with the rectangle that goes around the outside of that one which is actually also the same rectangle that you use for the base of that drawer and I've cut that out in sea salt green twice there and I'm going to layer those on here but I am actually going to uh, put some white card in below those so they're going to be the opposite way around from these ones where the white is on top of the green this time the green is going to be on top of the white and that will go on there and then I'm just going to leave the ombre card here because I think that's so beautiful and I wanted a plainish background so that I can put the, the wording on here. I die cut the scissors there and the glue for there in the craft card to match in with this on the sides and the base here and then I did the little background in white and I've put it on here and I think it's very very elegant looking but uh, I really really like it it's a lovely sturdy little box but I thought I would like to add some colour to it some extra colour and I can see here I've actually got a little bit of glue showing it's not too obvious uh, just looking straight at it but it is quite obvious when I see it on camera there so actually this would be really really nice if I just fussy cut some of the little flowers from the dusky rose paper pad and score it down the middle and then we could do something really nice with that I could pop that on right there and you can see there that it's just adding enough colour to take the sort of plainness off this maybe maybe the plain part, uh, part is what you like about it or whatever but I've just taken two pieces and I'm putting one in there and one in there and it does two jobs and I actually think it's very very pretty because it's adding just a little bit of colour and but it's still letting you see that beautiful glitter card so I'll go ahead and do that and then that's it, this one finished So now I have cut out some other pieces to start another one and this time I'm going to keep to similar kind of colours but I have got the two pieces already here, the two long pieces glued together and obviously again I've kept the little glue tabs apart here uh, on the base and on here and this time for the side panels that are going to be the edges here I've actually used some of this beautiful dusky rose paper pad from Tonic to decorate that and I thought this would be a really, really lovely colour way to go along with it here. <laughs> you can see there where I've already cut two pieces out of it. But um, I just thought that that would be really nice as the side pieces to this. And now I'm going to cut out the other pieces that I need to make the base. But this time, this one is not going to have any drawers. It's going to have just the side sides on here. And then we'll have the long compartment and the other one at the front. And no drawers in this one. But... Don't forget that you could have a combination of, uh, say, this panel the whole way down here and one drawer, or you could just have two the way I'm going to do it, or the two drawers, or any configuration of that that you like. I've got the two long panels cut out again, and on one of them then I've taken off the glue tab and I've just glued the two of them together, the same way as I did for the other one there. And I've got these little marks again here, you can see them there and there. And I'm just going to line this up once I put glue down here and here. And then I'm going to pop these right across, that one across here. And that should line up with that and that. And then I'll, I'll just hold that all together for a little minute or two until all the glue gra grabs before I go ahead to put the sides on. So this is just exactly the same as what I did for the other one. This one I've actually cut out four pieces and uh, I just haven't glued them together because I wanted that's sorry two for each side 
So I wanted to add this one on afterwards and just cut out parts of it. So I'm going to go ahead now and uh, just do this one. Glue it on here and you can see that the inside isn't finished just yet. But I'll cut some out, add it on afterwards and then I'll cover these tabs completely. Like in the last one, I have cut the pieces for here, but because the other one didn't need any cut off the side, I've really just gone to the little mark that was here on the longer arch and trimmed it right down. And then just by holding it in, I knew that it was slightly, slightly taller, just a little smidgen. And I took a little sliver off the bottom and that will fit in over there and it'll cover up these two glue tabs. And then I'll go ahead and uh, make little panels for the back. I'll just measure this and set them in. And I've obviously then cut another one of these for the other side over here. Now I'm going to co cover these two pieces here as well uh, because it covers up where the glue tabs meet on that. So that's actually just, uh, you can cut pieces to measure or you can just cut them with this die. And then the best idea is just to make them fit very snugly, cut them slightly inside. You don't need the glue tabs obviously again. We're trying to do away with those. So you cut them off just inside where those two score lines are and there and there the three actually this one at the bottom as well and slide that down inside and that will cover that up nicely too so i'm going to do that that will make it nice and neat and then we can decorate the rest of it As you know I had made the back and the bottom and had everything all ready there and haven't gone ahead and added my extra layers on to the back and the bottom to reinforce that and I just wish I had thought about this little bit a, a bit sooner but um, I should have really thought about this before I added these side panels on but I have now cut a piece of white card which measures nine sorry this is 19 and a half so this is actually 20 and a half this width plus one centimeter and I've scored it at half a centimeter here and here and then the depth is four and a half centimeters and I've scored it at half a centimeter here so the inside piece measures 19 and a half which is exactly the fit for in here and this is why it would have been so good if I had done it I had thought about it before I put these panels on I could have glued that on and put the panel on over the top Anyhow, I actually have still uh, to put the base on this, so I'm going to glue it on here, right along the bottom there, and then I'll glue these little pieces inside. And that just gives me a lovely little ledge, which I hadn't thought about until now when I saw a strip of card on my desk. So I'll glue that on, and then we'll go ahead and decorate the rest of this. some decorative paper inside just to match all of that and a piece of craft card right across the front which was the same size as the white strip but that was just to strengthen it and then half a, half a centimeter smaller each way of a patterned paper pa panel with some uh, ribbon tucked in behind so I actually glued the ribbon in behind there it's not just stuck on because then it isn't much neater finish at the end and the little bow is just glued on I made the glue the bow separately and glued that on top now I have already gone ahead and cut out some the bits and bobs from the craft card and the little background with white and I cut the background out twice and I actually just went ahead and flattened down the edges of the back of it there so that it um, doesn't look like a rough side on it at the back and I've cut two little strips here which just fit on neatly in here they're just over half a centimetre wide and I didn't actually measure them but I'm just assuming they're about they look to me about four centimeters long what do we see yeah three and a half and I'm just going to sandwich those in behind another die cut which is exactly the same as the front one and now I'm going to put glue on here and here and that then will get glued on down in here and it means that the bits and bobs will just stand up there so glue on here 
and here. And now just to add a couple of little finishing touches to this, I have fussy cut some paper from the pad again here and just added it on here and here, just a little floral spray. And then I die cut these pieces here. So I didn't add any backing to it at all. I've just left the white showing through. I've used the outline die here with this one in the middle and this one and this one together. And I've made myself these beautiful little panels for here and here. And then I've added some dream drops. So these are actually uh, Enchanted Elixir dream drops in several places right across there just to give a little pop. And that's that one finished. Oh, I forgot to mention I've actually fussy cut two big flowers and put them in there as well and just folded them and put a little bit round the corner the way I did in that other one because I thought that just made it look a little bit more finished. So this is a little A6 card that I've just made and I've panelled some um, craft card and then some pattern paper on top and then I really, really love this pattern uh, here on the die cut. So that's cut out with the ombre glitter card and then backed onto some white and the white is actually bigger than the die so it's nine and a half by seven and a half centimeters it's slightly bigger than that die because I wanted that white to show off just in between those two and then I've got some 3d foam pads on the back of that and I'm going to pop that just in there in the center of the card then I've got some fussy cut flowers which I'm going to glue on over at the side and I've also got just a note now that's going to go there I want it just coming slightly over and another one up here. I really, really love fussy cutting those flowers. They're beautiful. The floral paper is actually beautiful as a background, but I don't know what it is. I just love to fussy cut them as well. There we are. And then I had glue in that. There's some more. Uh, just a note to go on there. And then to finish that off, some of these uh, dream drops on top of that. It's a really, really quick and easy card. But don't forget that whenever you've got dies there that you're going to use for a three-dimensional pro uh, project, that you can make cards from them as well. One more card this time then, and I've actually just uh, put some patterned paper on, and normally I would put a, a little layer in behind that, but... I thought this time I would just leave it because it looked quite nice against the white and then the white here. This is actually a pocket, so you could use it just as a decorative detail, but I have just put glue down here and here, and then you could put something in there, a little special card, a little heart card with a tag, or even a little money gift card or something like that could go in there. And then obviously there's your, your card there that would uh, be written on inside. I've popped the just a note up on 3D foam pads, fussy cut two little flowers and I've glued one down and popped the other one up on 3D foam pads and added the uh, dream drops into the centre of that again. And that's a really quick, quick card too. But I just wanted to show you this one because obviously that's the way you would use this as a, a pocket on a memory book as well. And you could put tags and different things in there. So don't forget to have a look through those dies. There's lots of them here that you could be using for tags and panels and all sorts of things, all different pockets, and you'll get lots and lots of mileage out of that. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget, if you have, to give it a big thumbs up. Hold on to the end because I'm going to put lots and lots of photographs if you want to see them in more detail. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that. Hit the notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment if possible. And my affiliate links to everything I've used will be down below in the description of the video as usual. So thank you very, very much to everybody who uses those as well. I'll get a little commission, but it doesn't cost you a penny or a cent more. So I always appreciate that. Thanks very much in the meantime. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.